two comes from. I can tell you it's got nothing to do with the art of Polynesian body markings. And those colorful designs which soldiers of its sport is really a corruption of an old Dutch phrase, do not tap to, or turn off the taps. The practice started during the first Duke of Marlborough's triumphant campaigns against Louis XIV's French army in the Low Countries in the 18th century, when drummers used to march through the garrison towns, signaling the innkeepers to turn off the beer taps and send the soldiers back to their tents or their quarters in private houses. When barracks began to be constructed, the ceremony almost died out. But the name had been used for military displays as far back as 1742, and it became the popular term of the displays which grew up in the early years of the 20th century, and which continued the growing popularity in this century. Now we're delighted to welcome the generous help of our main sponsor tonight, the Royal Bank of Scotland, whose support additionally covers a multitude of projects globally. We're also most grateful for the support of Ford Motor Company for their provision of vehicles, our supporting sponsors this year are our creative partner Tsuko, Scottish Hydro, Sheraton Grant at Elm Spa in Edinburgh, Todd's Murray, Indigo Vision and Pomeroy. And the Ministry of Defence and the Armed Services in Scotland have given us tremendous help with bands, pipes and drums, the arena party and the administration. And we're also most grateful to all those in historic Scotland and the city of Edinburgh who have made tonight's event possible. Scotland. And these uh, aircraft are currently 